games. Now we gotta play them all. So what about the steam train? Choo choo. Top of the morning, Gia Laddies. Welcome back to Steam Train. <laughs> ah, Jesus, you can't just do that to me, man. Oof. All right, welcome back to being incinerated by some jets of fire. Today we're gonna be incinerated by, by some, some jets, jets of fire. fire. <laughs> One more. Huh. There we are. My poor love, I'm so filled with grief. I can't stop laughing. That's not how grief works. Good luck, darling. Ah, uh, jeez. Oh, my love. Has fallen down. So do I want to go in the red? Now in tears. Wait, wait. Green? We all will drown. Oh, it seems like I can just kind of... Colored tiles. And just... Make them a fool. Oh, oh, if uh, only they uh, uh, still one. knew the rules. Uh, well, that was uh, okay. a sorry try. Uh, five seconds. Now let's Shit. watch. No, 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 no. Them fry. Oh god. I'm dead. Oh, I'm sorry. Looks like you're out of time. Ah, uh, no. Da -da -da. Here come the flames, darling. Not the flames. Not the flames. They're closing in! Alpheus, can you hack into the fire system? This would be a good Getting time. Getting closer, oh my! Ah, uh, suspense! Any minute now! Is that it? <coughs> that was a good robotic cough. Beep boop. Oh. Uh, watch out, I'll save you. Yes, Alpheus! I'm Woo! hacking into the firewall right now! <laughs> firewall, get That's it! That's me hacking! Sounds like a stampede. Okay. Oh no! How could this happen? She, she hacked the firewall. Okay. Foiled again by the brilliant Dr. Alpheus! Oh, Dr. Alpheus, what would I do without you? Well. Ah, uh, that's right. Come on, Metaton. Give up already. You'll never be able to defeat us. Not as long as we work together. Why do I get the feeling something terrible is going to happen to Dr. Alpheus and we're going to have to work alone? Your puzzle's over. Now go home and leave us alone. Yeah, Metaton. Puzzles! Over. Alpheus, darling. What are you talking about? Oh my god, you're right in my ear, Ross. Did you forget what the green tiles do? Oh, they do make monsters, don't they? They make a sound! Then, you have to fight a monster. Oh my god. Well, darling, that monster... Is you? Is me! Well, saw that coming. Great! Let's fight! Metaton attack! I'm gonna yell! I used to have a Megatron toy, and when you hit the button, he was a green tank, and you'd go, Megatron attack. <laughs> attack. Megatron Say attack. Say goodbye. Oh, getting a call. It's a G2 Megatron. Is that your phone? You'd better answer it! Let me just, let me just get, get it right there. Hey, this seems bad, but don't worry. Uh, there's one last thing I installed on your phone. You see that yellow button? I do! Go to the phone and act menu and press it. Okay. The act menu is glowing. Yellow button! The phone is resonating with Metaton's presence. This is it, darling. Say goodbye! Uh, I can't move. Okay. Um, whoa. We went yellow. Now press, press C. C. Oh, I'm shooting him! Awesome. Take that, Metaton! Oh! You've defeated me! Aha! How can this be? You are stronger than I thought, etc. Bye-bye. <laughs> well. Yeah, it looks like you beat him? This is a sweet cell phone. You did a really good job. Great job out there. All thanks to you. All thanks to Well, I almost you. barfed there. Oh. You, you, you okay? Yeah, I'm alright. Do you want me to take over for- No, I just almost barfed into my mouth. Oh, you verped? Yeah. You okay? Yeah, I'm alright. Do you need a, you need a drink? What? I I know I mean. I'm alright. Okay. I'm you were about you, man. <sighs> you were the one doing everything cool. I just wrote some silly programs for your phone. Like a jetpack and a laser gun. Um, hey, this might sound strange, but can can I tell you something? Yes, Alpheus. Before I met you, I didn't really I didn't really like myself very much. Oh, Alpheus. For a long time, it felt like I felt like a total screw up. Well, you're so talented. You know, like I couldn't do anything without, uh, without ending up letting everyone down. Oh. But uh, guiding you has been made me feel a lot better about myself. That's so good. thanks mm, for myself. letting me help you. Oh, you're welcome. Uh, anyway, you. uh, we're almost to the core. 
Uh, it's just past the, the MI, MTT Resort. The MIT Resort. Uh, come on, let's finish this. Well, Fius. Hey, my tears. There was no click that time. I guess she didn't hang up. She's still listening. She's still nice listening. Pocket call. Oh, nice oh. cream! Let's get some nice cream. There's some rad dudes hanging out, having a good time. Hey, Just some bros. Again. Just some bros hanging Just out. Some bros being bros. This is excellent here. These two fellas bought all my ice cream. Shit. Aww. Also, we don't have any money. Yeah. I've still got something for you. A big smile. How about that? I'm gonna beat the shit out of you! Okay. Ask them for some nice cream. Uh, I really need to find a save point. Oh, hey. We're like, uh, taking a rain check on that killing you thing. Like, don't tell Undyne about this, okay? He seems happy. <laughs> no. Uh, this shirt should be off, though. It should be. That's not canon. Oh, it's the stage there. Oh, you go up. Up, there's the stairs, remember? Oh, that's true. Might be something up there. Nope. Nope, can't go up there. It's what a about backdrop. The, what it's about the vine? Nothing? Nope. Okay. Can't. Can't do it, won't Probably do sad. it. Probably a set. Probably a set. Yep. Uh, really hoping to find a save point. Get some health back. That's that guy. That's that guy. That was, what was his name? Hots? You get milk out of Flames. New Yorker accent. Yeah. Ugh. It sands! Also a page on the floor. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna head, I mean, I'm sure there's a save point up ahead somewhere, but I'm a compulsive saver. So, let's see. Hey, hey, did you remember my name? Did you? Yes. What? You remember? I don't remember his voice. How could I be defeated? Easily defeated. Oh, I defeated him. I'll always remember that you remembered. Wow. That's crazy. That was crazy. Uh, you, where was there a safe You point? gave him like a New York accent. Oh, yes, right. It was like, hey, I'm walking here. Okay. I'm gonna go back to L1 real quick and save just in case. Do you remember what that was? R3, remember? Yeah. Remember? Pretty sure this was L1. Yeah. Pachoo. Nice job. Wait, is the background different? Did it always look like this? No, I'm pretty sure it always looked like that. Okay, it always looked like that. Yeah, it always looked well, like okay, that. Well, okay, this it's is no me. big deal. This is me being Aaron being gobbles. That's what this is. Hey. Uh, R3. Wait, R3 or L3? What? No, <laughs> I don't I don't know. It was R3. It's it's Flames Man. I actually <laughs> I don't remember his name. I feel bad. But you just had to lie. I had to lie. I'm sorry, man. It's like when someone walks up to me and they're like, Hey, you remember that time we met you at that convention and we did, we did that thing? I did that thing. Yeah, sure. Go well, what's my name? Right for some great deal. I don't know. What's up, Sans? I'm sorry. Hey, I heard you going to the car. How about grabbing some dinner with me first? Yeah, do it. Fuck yeah. Yeah. We got no great. money, though. Thanks for treating me. Oh, <laughs> oh fucking dick. Oh, boy. Come over here. I know a shortcut. Wait, but the paper told me to go to the right. Oh, oh. Well, here we are. So, your journey's almost over, huh? You must really want to go home. Hey, I know the feeling, Bardo. Though, they know the feeling. Maybe sometimes it's better to take what's given to you. Or wait to my theory. Oh. Down here, you've, got, you've already got food, drink, friends. Is what you have to do really worth it? Sans, what are you saying, man? Uh, forget it. I'm rooting for you, kid. Oh jeez, Sans. Hey, let me tell you a story. So I'm a sentry in Snowden Forest, right? I sit out there and watch for humans. It's kind of boring. Fortunately, deep in the forest, there's this huge locked door. I remember that door. Yeah, Remember yeah, that yeah, door? Yeah, yeah. yeah, it's perfect for practicing knock-knock jokes. So one day, I'm knocking them out, like usual. I knock on the door and say, knock-knock. And suddenly, from the other side, I hear a woman's voice. Who is there? So, naturally, I respond. Dishes? Dishes who? Dishes a very bad joke. Then she just howls with laughter, like it's the best joke she's heard in a hundred years. So I keep them coming, and she keeps laughing. She's the best audience I ever had. Then, after a dozen of them, she knocks and says, Knock, knock. I say, who's there? Old lady. Old lady who? Oh, I did not know you could yodel. Well, needless to say, this woman was extremely good. We kept telling each other jokes for hours. Eventually, I had to leave. Papyrus gets kind of cranky without his bedtime story. But she told me to come by again, and so I did. Then I did again, and again. It's a thing now. Telling bad jokes through the door. It rules. Oh, Sans. 
One day, though, I noticed she wasn't laughing very much. I asked her what was up, then she told me something strange. If a human ever comes through this door, could you please, please promise something? Watch over them and protect them, will you not? Now, I hate making promises, and this woman, I don't even know her name, but... Someone who sincerely likes bad jokes has an integrity you can't say no to. That's true. That's true. That's, That's very true. Here. Do you get what I'm saying? That promise I made to her. You know what would have happened if she hadn't said anything? Buddy. You'd be dead where you stand. Hmm. Hey. Lighten up, bucko. I'm just joking with you. Besides, I'm not laughing. Haven't I done a great job protect protecting you? I mean, look at yourself. You haven't died a single time. I mean, that's not true. Hey, what's that you... Uh, excuse me, what's that look supposed to mean? Am I wrong? Oh, actually, yeah. Well, I mean, you're right. Huh? It's because I got saves, yo. Well, that's all. Take care of yourself, kid. Because someone really cares about you. Was that Toriel? No, lady? it doesn't sound like Toriel. Someone else. Wait, maybe, well. maybe, because, oh, the locked door, the one we came through. It's a wall of fame full of quotes and photos from visiting celebrities. Oh, you know what? I There is that that one locked door that we couldn't go through. Yeah, that's why I thought it but was. But what if it was Toriel's door? Then it was Toriel saying, look maybe, after us. Maybe. Oh, hello. Because, because he came up from behind us. Hmm. Interesting. Yeah. There's some, there's some weight to that. As I came in, I realized I forgot to make a reservation, but I didn't want to look like I messed up, so I kept walking in anyway. Now I'm just kind of consuming dew off this ficus. Well, ah, I've done that before. There you go, pumpkin man. Some kind of TV show fe featuring Metatron. Metatron! Metatron! Whoa, look at that guy. It's some kind of TV show. Who's that guy? It's performance schedule, comedians, dancers, sands. Seems there's a break now. Whoa, look at that. You wanna do this guy? Oh. Originally, we dug mazes with the puzzles in order to foil human attacks. But now, building things are winding and confusing. It's some awful tradition. You can't go, uh, two feet without being up to your armpits and puzzles. You don't gotta tell me twice, sailor. I My work- Oh, <laughs> can't go for it. No. I work at the core! The inside is a maze made of swappable parts! That means we can shuffle the layout at will! Boy, was today a fun day! I sure love puzzle! Just, just the singular puzzle? Yeah. He's, he's cute. As Birdman. I'm the resort comedian. I'm very funny. People laugh at my jokes. Now, my son, he wants to be a comedian like his father. But his jokes aren't funny. He tells us awful puns. He's an embarrassment to our family. Ha <laughs> ha. That's not funny. Since his mother passed on, he couldn't stand living at home anymore, so he ran away. Haven't seen him since. I'm a terrible father. Ha <laughs> uh, ha. That's not funny. We met his son, wow. remember? Oh, we did. In, in Snowden, right? Yeah, it, we did. Yeah. Hello. That's it's Snowden. Oh my god. How are you? <laughs> we'll have to reserve a table to eat here. Oh, that's a good one. You'll also need to reserve your chair, your silverware, your food. Your... Oh. How are you doing that voice? I'm just kind of shaking my jowls around while I talk. That was really impressive. Thank you. Wow, so you have to reserve everything. That's that's pretty tricky. Oh my god. Whoa, is that Metaton? That's shooting on the ground. Look at the <laughs> wet It's just carpet. getting all wet. That's awesome. It fills you with determination. Um, uh, that's, I just want to make sure, is this that thing the there? alleyway? Hold on. This is where they're saying I should go for a thing. The dark alleyway. Oh. Check the it out. Whoa, junk food, 17 HP. Empty gun. I have 42 G, I give them all my money. Damn it. Uh, mystery key, probably to someone's house, lol. Um, I guess I'll get the junk food. That's all I can buy. Thanks, but we, like, don't really need anything. Oh my god, can you go get some clam burgers? We don't really... Wait, if, I'll, I'll pay you a thousand G if you get Metaton to autograph my butt. Whoa. Okay. Uh, what's up? Um, we could probably make that happen, though. Yeah, we probably could. We were pretty close with them. Yeah, yeah. Aw, they were talking at the same time. They're cute. The stuff inside is, like, totally wicked expensive! But, like, this stuff we found is, like, totally wicked cheap! 
You should like totally wig by all the origin of wares. I mean, like, where does anyone get guns or food or we found it in the garbage? Ah, oh, jeez, <laughs> it's good garbage, like really good garbage. Where does garbage come from? Mm, like the from, garbage Tony. store, duh. Waterfall mostly. I found a gun in a dumpster. Well, what's up with Metaton? Oh my God, Metaton. He's like my robot husband. Actually, he's like my robot husband. I think we're like both going to marry him. We're both like already married to him. He just like doesn't know it yet. Oh wow. So like Dr. Alfie has built Metaton, right? That's like what they tell you. But like Metaton always acts like being built was his idea sometime, somehow. And even right after he was built, Hector like Alfie was an old friend. But they're like not friends anymore. Yeah, unlike me and Braddy, best friends forever. Yeah. About Metaton old? Oh, okay. Oh, I, I see. Oh, shit. Uh, what's up with Alpheus? Oh my god. Alpheus. Alpheus. She's still living on our street. She was like our big sister. I mean, like, if your big sister takes you on trips to the dump, she shows the coolest places to find trash. She was always collecting these weird cartoons. And she became the royal scientist. Yeah, we haven't seen her in forever. So Alpheus mm. always, like, thought Asgore is super cutie. So, like, I'm pretty sure she made Metaton to, like, totally impress him. What with the soul? Wait, Metaton is a soul? Oh. After seeing Metaton, Asgore has to do all the science stuff for him. But nobody's, like, seen anything from her yet. Or her at all. They put she Markiplier must... inside the robot. <laughs> Stab her in that the leg sense. all day. And, oh my goodness. Yeah, like us. Oh my god, he's told Goober! I love that guy, he's so nice. God, we're like, so hyped for the destruction of humanity. <laughs> hmm. Okay, see you guys later. Yeah, I'm just gonna human on over here. here. Yeah, I'm just gonna do 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 Let's miss me being a human. And see what, uh, see what's that thing? Welcome to MTT Resort, Hotland's biggest apartment building turned hotel! Whether you're here for a night or still live here, MTT Resort prides itself on a great stay. Just passing through, nice! MTT Resort prides itself on being passed through. Oh, okay, okay there. Interesting. Oh, I don't really need to save. I'm just a compulsive saver. I can't help yeah, it. I know. There's an inscription on this fountain. Royal Memorial Fountain, built 21x. Metaton added last week. Oh. Yeah, it's making a bit of a mess. I can walk through it. It's refreshing. Oh, there's a hand. Oh my god, what the fuck is this shit? There's a lot going on here. Alright, I got a few questions. Yeah. Yes, we do. The elevator of the city is not working. Because of this incident, rooms are running at a special rate. 200 a room. Interested? I don't have any money! Do us know if you change your mind. Have a sparkular day. Wow. There's a burgers thing there. What's this guy's talking about? He'd be like... Yeah, I'm not gonna be home tonight. Oh, that's Zach. <laughs> that's just Zach. I think there's some called pizza with my treasure hoard. If you could heat it up. Oh. This elevator goes straight to the capital, but it stopped working. Delta's doing its best to accommodate everybody stuck here. What are you, little blob demon? Hello. As a slime, I'm outraged. Well, that, that, that says a lot about slimes. Hmm. Any? Hello? Wow, room service. Got my CT? Say yes. Uh, yes. Why? No, you don't. You got me there. It's locked from the inside. Oh, oh my god. Okay. Room service. Got my cinnamon bun. Do we have one? No, I ate it. Oh. Oh my god. That, that, guy <laughs> that janitor is so slimy, he has to clean up his You're own shuffling. Slime. Seems like you could put something under the door. Put, put, put. Put. But you didn't have anything, anything appealing. appealing. This poor guy. Seems busy. <laughs> oh boy. Well, next time on Steam Train. Uh. Oh boy, we're gonna help this guy mop up this This is a metaphor mess. for time travel. You try to clean up a mess, but create another one. It's called the butterfly effect. Is it? Yeah. Well, that's- I thought it was something that- The some, Her, Hermes paradox- some, something? Hermes paradox. Paradox something paradox? They talked about it on a recent Doctor Who episode. Oh, I don't watch It was Doctor like basically- Who. Let me explain real quick okay, before the sure. end of the episode. Yeah, no. So, if you went back in time, and you wanted to meet Beethoven, right? Mm -hmm. Naturally. But and everyone's like, I don't know who Beethoven is. And then Why you're like, oh fuck, that? because maybe Beethoven's missing, and you're like, well fuck, I have all the, the music, so then you become Beethoven, right? Whoa, you, and so then you, you become your own dad. Yeah, so you create you create the music of Beethoven. But then there was never any Beethoven who wrote the music. With. So it's just- So then there's the question of who wrote the music. Oh my god. 
that's that's a mind trip. That's not the butterfly effect. The butterfly effect is from a, a, a Sound of Thunder, I think. It was a short story. You go back in time, and they step on a butterfly in the distant past, and do, it just ripples in the future where everyone's you, lizard people. Do you subscribe to the idea of time travel being about like being like splintered timelines, alternate or, realities, or do you just subscribe to the yeah, or do you subscribe? I subscribe to, to, the, to Game Grumps. <laughs> Sorry, what was the alternative? Either like alternate realities or time is linear, or, or like, uh, like like when you time travel, you're fulfilling what's already happened. No, so, like do you so, subscribe to splinter timelines or to you go back, you change the future? Um, well, there's three then, because what I was saying is you go back in time and you do exactly what already happened. No matter what you do, you can't create a time paradox. Oh, because it's already happened. Yeah, exactly. The reason you went back to meet Beethoven was because... You were Beethoven all along. You loved your own music, mm -hmm. but you created the music. Yeah, time. Next time! Oh, it's getting toasty in here.